Good morning, everybody. I have all this lovely white stuff that I'm going to talk about today. You know, it's always a puzzle when people come in and are looking for a specific interfacing. They're not exactly sure what they should buy. And so we thought it would be nice to share with you what we do with some of these products. And then you can decide what you will need for whatever it is that you are doing. And I have to start with my very favorite um, first interfacing. It's called Shape Flex, and it is from Pellon, and it's number 101. And why I like it, you can see that it's woven, and then it has a lightweight fusible on the back. And when you fuse it to the back side of fabric, it just is give, makes it more stable, but it doesn't make it stiff. And some interfacings will be stiff as a board by the time you finish. And you may want stiff as a board for something, but this is my go-to for most everything. I use it for garments. I use it a lot. Um, I like to make uh, rocks <laughs> and applique them on things. And I may use it even on the linen background just to stabilize that before I applique. So I really like this and I always have a few yards of it in my stash. The next one is probably our second most popular and it's called Shirt Tailor. And <clears throat> it's approximately the same weight, but this is a composite and it's a man-made product. It's not um, an actual fiber. So, and it is also fusible. And if you know Jane Sassaman, this is what she uses a lot for her uh, applique projects. So you, she uses this behind her fabric. And people use it in dressmaking too, and like in collars and that kind of thing. So the next thing is called a Stitch and Sew Tearaway Stabilizer. And the reason you might want a tearaway stabilizer, let's say you were doing an applique, you were gonna applique a heart on just regular quilting fabric, and you wanted to satin stitch around it. Well, the minute you start satin stitching without a stabilizer behind those two layers of fabric, it's gonna just pucker up. So what you do is use this behind the fabrics and then you can do that tight satin stitch and it tears away. You know, here's the tear away thing. I don't want to tear too far, <laughs> but it, it really works well. So um, I kind of like to have that around also. Then um, we're gonna talk about fusibles. This happens to be Wonder Under 805, which is the most common weight. It's more of a medium lightweight and the great thing about this, you know, it's fusible on one side here, is that once you've put this on a fabric and you fused it to another fabric, when you go to, let's say, stitch around the edge, if you were doing an applique, your needle doesn't gum up. So it really works well. And it's um, probably, we sell more of this than any other product like this. Then there's a bit heavier one, and it's 725. This one is 805. But you can just say the average one or the heavier weight. So, and they look the same. And these are paper-backed fusible, correct? Yeah, paper-backed adhesive is the generic term that you use. Now, there are some adhesives where they have, I'm going to show you something that has adhesive on each side some products. And depending on what you're doing, you might want something like that. Um, and you're going to want to use an applique pressing sheet when you work with these products. And it's worth the investment to get one. Now, this is called Fast Diffuse, and it's a heavy, really heavy, uh, kind of, they call it an interfacing, but it would be the kind of thing you'd put in if you wanted to make a briefcase cover or if you were doing some tote bags, or they use this for postcards. Now, this one, this Fast Diffuse, has adhesive on each side. 
So when you work with it, you will have your, your pressing sheet, then you'll put down your uh, uh, stabilizer stuff, and then you're gonna put your fabric on top of that. And when you press that, then you have fabric on one side, then you will have to turn it over and put the fabric on the other side. But people use this for um, uh, postcards a lot. Then this is called Fabric Solvi, and it is a stabilizer that you can use. It's real lightweight though. And sometimes you just need something lightweight rather than something as stiff as that tearaway. But this one, you put your product that you have stitched through in water and this dissolves in the water. But it's called Fabric Solvi and it's by Sulky. <clears throat> okay, now we get to this big ones. Um, and we keep some of these products with our inner facings because they're all on bolts and it's an easier way to uh, market them in the stores. So I thought I'd just share them with you too. This is called Thermal Lamb and this has been around, I would say for at least 40 years. I used this when I first started making uh, ski jackets back <laughs> in the 70s. <laughs> but it's, um, it's like a, a tight man-made batting and it's um, polyester. And a lot of people like it for placemats, um, things like that, but it's flexible. So when you have fabric on either side, even though it's nice and firm, it's still flexible. Then this is called uh, Flex Foam and it's from Pellon. FF79F2, which you won't remember, but you just say, I want the flex foam. People use this in bags all the time. And it's really easy to stitch through. I had never done it until last year and I was making a bag and it called for it. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna make myself use it. And it really worked nice. And when you stitch through it uh, and you've got that area that's tighter, it almost looks quilted. So it really is a nice look. Then this is called Thinsulate and it comes from the Warm Company. Here, we'll just show you right there. This is like a very thin batting that has insulation in between uh, the two layers and you use this in pot holders. So if you wanna make pot holders or casserole covers, you know, things like that, that's what people buy this for. But you know, Maybe some people put it in garments and, you know, I don't know, outdoor garments. I hadn't thought about that. Now, um, this is a stabilizer, much like the Fast to Fuse, but it's one that comes from Pellon. And it is a little bit firmer. It's called Ultra Firm Peltex. But it's uh, much like the fast diffuse that I showed you earlier. Then this is Timtex and it's the same sort of product as this, but there's no fusible on either side. And there's times when you don't want any fusible. You just want the firmness of a product like this. And then the last thing I brought to show you is um, Steamaseam 2, and it is, people use it for lightweight uh, fabrics um, and for appliques. It's a little firmer than uh, Wonder Under, and some people just swear by it and love, that, love it, others love Wonder Under. So it's kind of up to you what you get used to using. This one, if I remember right, is a little more expensive than the other one. Um, we also have a, a little book that uh, we have here at the store. It says Guide to Interfacings. And there's interfacings in there I've never heard of, <laughs> but there's a lot of these too. And so this is something that if you would ever think you need a reference guide, here it is. So thank you.